Uh, Dennis Raymond, newsforusonline.com. Great. Amira, what attracted you to the role of Bernstein? What attracted me is she's a mother, and she's a mother willing to do whatever it takes to protect her children. And I have a wonderful mother who's like that and a sister, and so it's very familiar to me. And then the scripts. Misha and Joe have just brilliantly written these scripts that they are terribly exciting. And so as soon as, you, as, soon as I thought I understood her, something was thrown in that I said, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, and that makes it really exciting. And I think that, and everyone has a secret. And so the, the, it's a roller coaster ride of emotions and the journey is unlike, I think we've seen, especially for these people at this time, that we can be proud of and excited by and shocked and, uh, and also say, oh wait, that's me. That's still, that's still my mama. Okay. You know? <laughs> and Dina, what's the driving force behind your character? My daughter. Uh, um, Moses and, and Pearly May have a daughter named Boo, and um, that's my driving force, you know, just making sure that her life is, is uh, the best life it can be. Um, she's young, so she's not in the fields yet, so um, I still have an opportunity to keep her out of it. Is there a challenge in, uh, in this role for you? What was the challenge for you to come up the character? Well, being a mom myself, I have an eight-year-old and a soon-to-be five-year-old. I, I, the idea of imagining losing them, the, the, always having that thought that, that anything could happen and that I could be punished and they could be taken away, that keep me up at night. Right. <laughs> Amira, how do you, can you make a parallel to what happened then? Down around to what's going on today in the black community. Oh, most certainly. I feel like what, we, what we're going through now is the, re, the residue of that time period. That's why I feel like it's so important that we investigate it. And I feel like we think we know this part of history and we have a certain idea of it, but there's still the fact that we even have to ask the question, do you want it to be a slave? When it's, it's we should be proud of these people. And, I'm, and I had to learn that because I, had, I asked the question, do I want to be a slave? And then to get to the point where I realized that I'm actually so honored and proud to step into their shoes and to have a new outlook on who they are. And I feel like that education needs to come into our communities now, all of our communities, and realize that we just need to be kind of just open to realizing that there's so much more that we don't know. And I hope that this show actually kind of just educates a little bit more to people to say, hey, wait a minute, I see myself in that person, whether they're black or white. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Appreciate so much for having me. Talk to us. Bye-bye, Dennis. Bye -bye, Dennis.